Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I'm coming to share with you some small recycling or upcycling. Uh, I had a large paper paper shopping box from Amazon and uh, I decided to scrap them. So what I did, I opened that pack and uh, I glued on that where is the Amazon writing and all can, kind of those barcodes. I glued book pages. Then I cut that back on those pieces and I do have here nice large uh, tacks, nine by four and a half inch. And I decided that I'm gonna somehow decorate them and I will try to use all kind of recycling material, but not just that, uh, I'm gonna use also decorative papers and some decorative pictures, of course. <laughs> So before I will do anything else, I'm going to choose some paper I'm going to use uh, to make it a little bit stronger. So which one? These are papers from Heartfelt, Heartfelt Creations, Timeless Amour. And I think these are so beautiful. Yep. Which one? This is red and this is kind of brown, so I guess this because I may will use it with double side. Look at that print, it's so gorgeous. So, because my tack is four and a half inches, I'm gonna cut strip four and one quarter, and I think I'm gonna cut this side. I'm gonna keep this one for now. So I do have strip four and one quarter, 12 inches, and because it's too long, I'm gonna just place it here. Uh, the other way, because <laughs> here I can't see the end. The other way, I'm gonna keep space here. Here I can see the end. And I'm gonna just rip it with small gap. like this and those other edges first i'm gonna cut the corners kind of follow the large tack yeah and i'm gonna distress the edges using my scissors just gonna slide it and a little bit rip it off so I distressed those edges and uh, I decided I'm gonna use this a little bit different way than I thought before so I'm gonna cut this ripped edge straight and I will have piece three inches three and one eighth three and one eight by four and half exactly uh, four and one quarter exactly same like is this one i'm gonna take this plastic bag open it and cut the strip a little bit smaller okay. cut the strip i think that white Somewhere here. I'm gonna put double sided tape on one end of this uh, plastic bag. Somewhere here. Move it to the end. Like this. Take the backing off. Carefully, do not break the plastic bag. And I'm gonna fold this over. Hopefully it's not too tight. Looks good.
so I do have my plastic back on that paper I'm gonna take uh, my tack ruler and from the bottom of that tack I'm gonna cut the line I think two inches from the bottom two inches here two inches here and I'm gonna I'm gonna use two tacks these so they are quite nice size so those two tacks and they are two and one quarter two and one quarter inches wide <clears throat> so I'm gonna make the cut two and a half which means I'm gonna start on three quarter of inch here and I'm gonna finish on three and three oh one quarter somewhere here Here will be first cut that line. Yep. And from the bottom, I think <clears throat> two inches, three. Mm, I think somewhere on six inches, six inches here. Six inches here, and two and a half. And here I'm gonna make it a little bit on this side, so I'm gonna start on half, and I'm gonna finish on three. So from here till here I'm gonna take my knife and cut those lines so I do have those cuts and I'm going also to cut the line on the side I'm gonna make small marks here and here have I did oh yeah I did and I'm gonna cut the small strip I think three quarter of inch from the edge between those two those two marks I just made <coughs> Just somewhere here. Like this. Just a small space right here. So I do have my two tacks. I do have my strip with that uh, plastic pack. I do have here a piece of acetate, I can tell you measurement, but I think it's not, I didn't even measure it, I just took what I've got here, it's 7 centimeters long and 2 centimeters wide, and I just fold it, I think 1 inch, yeah, 1 inch, I made fold, I'm gonna put on this one inch I'm gonna place a double-sided tape but from inside like from here this is the fold so here I'm gonna put double-sided tape
and I'm gonna slide this strip here where is that fold I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna measure how far this is that strip here is one entry here is another entry I think I'm gonna slide there my text to make sure I see so here we have one entry here is another entry so somewhere between I will place my paper and it will be just between okay with that mean so I can slide this one right on the end and glue that acetate piece to my back maybe I will have to <clears throat> fold it again so now I'm going to put a double-sided tape on the end of my tacks like this and one tack I can glue it straight away so I'm gonna glue it yeah I can glue it here on the end I'm gonna put double-sided tape here on this edge <coughs> of my paper and hopefully I can fit here as well and here on this edge of my paper so I'm gonna slide first that acetate piece Then the tack, to the right position, I'm gonna take off the backing, and place my paper to match the edge here it should work I will have to fold this one probably one more time I will see and I'm gonna take <coughs> that packing from this side and glue it to the paper in there anything what it's peeking out I'm gonna cut with my scissors like this oh yeah I need to need to do something with that acetate piece it doesn't work the way I want okay I'm gonna make that room Right, it's not too bad so I'm gonna move it back to the end 
gonna flip it over. Take the other tack. Take off that packing. I'm gonna slide the tack to the <clears throat> to that spot to make sure it's straight. And here I'm gonna match it with the end here to make it straight on this side. Okay. So I do have base. Before I will try to do some decoration on, on the tack, I'm gonna put glue here. A little bit on that side. A little bit here. I just need to be careful. And here on the bottom. And I'm gonna make nice position on this large tack. And I'm gonna also sew it all around, but I will sew really just the edge to make sure I'm not gonna sew any from that moving part. So just on the edge. Some easy sewing. And now I'm going to make some stenciling, maybe stamping, just something not too complicated. I think I'm gonna use just black ink for that. I like those numbers, so I'm gonna use those numbers. This is uh, Andy Skinner stencil. I just cut it on pieces because <laughs> For me, it's much more easy to use it that way. Yep, and maybe here. So I do have that base, and I'm gonna start to put there some um, die die cuts and stuff I found in my drawer. I've got here butterfly and some circle because I made those <laughs> circle videos. Maybe I can use that somehow. Okay, that will be first what I'm gonna glue it down. Maybe some stencil or stencil. Some washi tape. have to be careful, do not glue it over that uh, entry. Can I use this? I fail. I've got it here. Like this. What else? I've got another one. Okay, I'm gonna match it together. I have, <clears throat> I have distressed that piece. I'm gonna make there some easy stamping. And just very lightly. this one and I'm gonna glue it here on the top over the edge and let it dry I 
And I'm gonna continue what 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 with this and probably I will don't use it because it's too long I've got here this so maybe I can use this flower but it's kind of too shiny so I'm gonna use my sanding nail and I'm gonna try very carefully do not destroy the die or die cut sand this cardstock a little bit and then distress it maybe I will do some stamping on it as well and I'm gonna use those soft stamps and put some stamping here and there just very softly that's enough and distress all that uh, plant or flower with ground espresso. I do have my plant, I do have here these. I think I'm gonna stamp something here as well. But it will be probably just something easy. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna take the tabs. First I'm gonna distress the tabs. I do have here also this specimen. All of these are from, or most of these are from Tim Holtz. So I'm gonna put glue here and I will try to cover it with, yes, I think this way. Here I'm gonna put a specimen. Yep. And now I will try to find the space where I, where I will fit it. If I will fit it somewhere this way. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna put a glue here. And on all that specimen. And use it right here. I'm gonna take my flower and place that flower here. I think so. I think somewhere here. Okay. I'm gonna take my butterfly and it's kind of not strong enough so I'm gonna glue that butterfly on book page like this and I'm gonna glue that butterfly I think right here here so I'm gonna put glue on the bottom slide it there and Kind of make a position. And maybe this number here. Yep. Yeah. Hold, 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 hold. Hold there, my number. Keep it there. Come on. Stay. And this needs to be used. It's kind of damaged already, so I have to use it because it's beautiful. I like it. So I'm gonna put glue on this big piece and then I will add there that D for details. I hope I can somehow. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, there is the details. Details. D. Mm. 
Okay, and what we've got here. Number three. Do I have somewhere space for number three? Of course I do. There is always space for numbers. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, there is. I should use some softer, softer piece of plas plastic, but this one it's kind of not softer, not elastic, because this one it's kind of elastic. And here I do have somewhere stickers, butterfly stickers. Or I can use some small one. Got here this small butterfly, so I'm gonna use that. And because it's piece of acetate, so I'm gonna put strip of acetate right here. And maybe one more. And that way. Where is my city? And this way. And I'm gonna place my butterfly over it. Like this. So now. We do a flying butterfly. Yeah. So that is my sharing for today. It's quite lo long. Oh, not long. It's quite late. It's near. Oh, it's tomorrow already. Aha. Okay. So it's very late. So this is my sharing for today. Probably tomorrow when I will have a look on it, I will add there the strings. Maybe here something. But this is my sharing for today. These are made from old Serali boxes. This is also from some old box. This is uh, can metal. I glued, uh, I open it can and uh, glue it on piece of uh, also that um, this one that brown back. And then I used my dice and cut out the numbers. This is from packaging material. Or I mean those uh, papers which are like uh, dividers between uh, stocks of items. So that it's cut out from that. And just that butterfly. This is envelope, envelope. And this was proper cardstock. And these are normal. <laughs> but that rest it's mostly recycling. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. It doesn't work perfectly, uh, like I can't pull it too much just with one one with one attack, but this way I can make that butterfly fly. So this is my sharing for today. Uh, have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.